Congressman Joe Crowley of New York. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, those are a couple of rules we gleaned. Uh, what can you teach us? Well, thank you. Thanks for having me on your show. Look, I think the president, when he said before, you know, this is a Christmas present. It is a Christmas present to the wealthiest in our nation. It is a Christmas present to special corporate interest in our nation at the expense of working people in our nation. That's the bottom line here, Ari. Uh, I, 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 I really uh, find it really hard to understand my Republican colleagues as they mumble and stumble trying to explain what they're trying to do here. It's unconscionable, quite frankly. Uh, and specifically on the breaks for businesses, uh, mm -hmm. the White House says that does get down and trickle down to help regular people. Your response? Look, you know, I, I think there are ways in which we can, ad we can ad we address the issues of, of corporate taxes, make them more competitive. But what they're doing here, lowering this to 20 percent, knowing what impact, where will, where will they get the money to do that? They blow up the national debt just to do that. They put this on the backs of working men and women to give those corporations that 20 percent rate, and it simply isn't fair. It's making an unfair code even more unfair. Um, I last question for you is, is what you just alluded to on the deficit. Washington Post's uh, independent accounting says you got a $1.5 trillion boost to the debt. Uh, I thought uh, the, your opponents there were against adding to the debt. Well, I heard Senator Corker say not one penny into the debt will he spend on a tax cut for anyone. Uh, let's see if they're true to the word, but I, Ari, I'm, I'm hearing it's going to be substantially more than $1.5 trillion to our nation's debt. We're hearing it's going to cost well above $2 trillion, and I think that that number is going to grow as time goes on. So, Ari, there's a reason why this was done 30 years ago. It was done in a bipartisan way 30 years ago, and when Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill got together, that is not happening now. This is a one-sided bill, again, uh, for the special corporate interests and the wealth in this country at the expense of working men and women. And we're not going to stand for it. Congressman Joe Crowley on a busy day. Thanks for joining. Thank you, Ari.